What's up guys, it's Sam the Raid Man. We're back with another Hydra video. Today we're gonna to be testing out that spot that we tested with Carillon and with Deacon. And we're gonna be testing one of the more meta champions, not as much slept on, but really just super, super strong. And that is Michinaki. Michinaki, awesome little green ghost rider here. Um, I've got him in four piece Slayer, just because the stats are good and the turn meter, he's got two AOE, so it'll give him even more turn meter. Uh, total stats, 51k HP, 4,500 defense, 234 speed, 100% crit, 239 crit damage. So not crazy nukes, kind of a balanced build between I need the accuracy, so I sacrifice some damage for that, um, but should be able to do good damage over time. He's got uh, AOE Hex, chance of removing all buffs, which is really, really nice when things go poorly. Um, AOE decrease defense, and then if there is a Hex, place a decrease attack, which is really nice, and then a A1 with HP burn. A passive, which is really where his damage starts to go crazy, is whenever an ally attacks enemy under Hex, should be everybody. This champion has a 55% chance, or 50% chance to team up and join the ally's attack. We've got him in Brimstone. He's our leader with a 30% defense aura, which helps. Down to Warmaster, some accuracy stats. And like I said, four-piece Relentless, four-piece Slayer. The obvious perfect set for him and most Hydra people would be nine-piece Merciless. I have zero Merciless Shadowkin accessories. So not an option. We are going to be testing him in our normal team for Nightmare, which would be, I got to pull everybody up really quick, Supreme Gaelic, Michinaki, Siffy, who else? Shemael, Chris, Husk. Let's find our two epics here, Husk, and Shemael is probably right in front of my face, there he is, and lastly, Chris. Obviously, very, very in-game team, but that's okay. I think this is the priority I'd want. Okay. Um, since his crit damage is not super high, I think Husk will probably be our first. Husk or Shemael will be our first target. Looks like it's Shemael. The Head of Torment is not out, which is... Or not Head of Torment. The Head of Decay, the Provoke Head, is not out, which is super, super nice, actually. We did miss the Hex there, which is very annoying. Um... Just provoke is definitely one of the more difficult things to deal with. Granted, we do have Krisk, who's got it on a three turn, and then Husk, who's got it on his A1, 50% chance. So we're pretty good when that does come out versus some of the other teams I was testing previously. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and place decrease defense pretty much everywhere. He is magic affinity, so he is negative to two of the Hydra heads right now, including Head of Mischief, which is the one we want to kill, and the one you want to place Hex on the most. So that's unfortunate, um, but I still think we'll be pretty good. So you can see anytime there's an AOE, he's going to choose somebody to attack. But anytime there's our Relentless proc, try and place Hex again. Double weak hit. You love that. Really, it's just a second hit that matters. I'm going to try and go here, but we'll probably get redirected. That's fine. The decrease attack is really, really big. Basically, take no damage with our shields and increased defense, things like that. Okay. I think this run's going to go pretty long. I'm predicting over 100 million. Hopefully that's not too bold. Go ahead and put in the comments below how much damage you think we're going to do, and particularly how much damage you think Michinaki is going to do, because he does the hex, and when everyone else does the splash damage based off the hex, he gets credited for that damage. So his damage will be pretty, pretty high. Turn some music on. I'll see you guys at the end.
All right, guys, I sense we're coming up towards the end here. Um, not that things are going terribly or anything like that, but it's just the turn count gets so low to be devoured, and pretty soon we're going to lose somebody, or pretty soon they're going to get a cleanse off. So this is just really, yeah, there goes Krisk. If I could get the head of mischief down, then maybe I'd have a chance, but I don't think I'm going to have a chance. They're trying to provoke here. I think that's going to be, if we can kill him, maybe we'll get lucky. But then we're just going to run into issue with this guy. Can we get our head back? We're still going to try and kill the head of mischief over here. And he devoured husk. This is really not going well. That's a big old shield too. I think we're probably done. So we do get Chris back. That's nice. Come on. A little more damage. There's not really any bus room to steal. We don't get poison cloud. That's very big. We get a brimstone, which is big. So we might stay alive a little bit longer. I'd love to see mischief come back. Nope. Come on, kill him. There we go. Now, if we can actually finish him off, that would be huge. Come on, do it. Uh, I don't have... Ah, oh, frick. We're about to get hit with this guy. Siffy buffs. That's huge. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do it. Kill him. Holy cow. Die. That... Freaking head of mischief, dude. Just does not want to go down. Husk should get him. Okay. That decreases their turn meter. That's very big. Come on. Do enough. Okay. Feeling a little bit better now. I still don't think we're going to reach the turn count limit. That's 90 more turns. Maybe if we get lucky, we can squeeze it out. But I doubt we make it to the turn count limit with six champions left. Most of the annoying heads are gone, which is nice. We don't have Decay, Wrath, or... Uh, Mischief, which are the three most annoying. I would love for Torment to pop back up. If Torment pops back up, I think we can make it to the end. Um, who's being swallowed next? Mishinaki, any second now. At this point, I am no longer holding abilities. We are just all out. That's so big. We get a decapitation and free our champion. Anyways, what I was saying is we're no longer holding abilities. We're just trying to do as much damage we can here at the end. Obviously, if you've seen the numbers right there on the side of the screen... We have crushed any previous clan boss record I've ever had. My previous record was set with Deacon Armstrong, and it was at 191 million. So we're already 56 million above that, which is pretty incredible. Um, we did get Head of Mischief, which is very big. I think we will make it to the turn count limit now. It's just how much damage can we do before that happens. Siffy's going to go next, and that will probably be the end. But I think we have a chance of squeezing out the turn count. No Head of decay so i don't have to provoke if i don't have that i'm always just extending or a oneing with Krisk. i think his damage but everyone's damage i think is gonna be really high i think michinaki may have done 100 million i don't want to promise that and be wrong because i know husk and supreme gaelic typically do the lion's share but michinaki is the hex champion all right two turns there we did get a decrease we have a decreased speed but it's still gonna go over here i love a husk uh Enemy max HP, that would be clutch. That's fine. Honestly, that's better for us because it's just a little more splash damage, although he doesn't have hex. Oh, come on. Michinaki's hex ability and then uh, an enemy max HP would be enough. Oh, no. Oh, no. There goes Shamail. That's our, that's our damage. We might not make it to the end here, guys. That's not good. I think I'm just going to AoE here to keep everyone alive, even though he's going to get feared. This is not good. Okay, he's ba she's back, but we still don't have... Uh, please free... He's just weak affinity. Please free Shamail. Let's go, let's go. Awesome. Okay, there's... I'm going to not A1, because Chris is going to provoke in a second. And I just want to boost uh, Michinaki's damage, or turn meter as much as possible. Husk is also going to be devoured next, so I don't want him to be our provoker because we'll lose the provoke the second he gets devoured. Come on, guys. 58 more turns, 48 more turns. You can do this. There's an extra turn. And if you're unfamiliar with how the turn count works, it is total interactions, total turns. So I got an ally attack from Michinaki doesn't count, but that's a turn. Whenever any of them takes a turn, the, the Shamayal stuff does not to count, but that was a turn by the Hydra. Typically, we are the bulk of the turns because we're lapping them so much. But you can see that right now, these counterattacks are not boosting up the turn count. So 44 more turns. It's going to be tight because Husk is about to get swallowed any second. I would love for Head of Torment to swallow him. That would be ideal. There's another turn. 
There's another turn. Come on. I think we can do it, guys. Hex is big. That means whichever head eats him, we have a better chance of decapitating. A1. We're going to get closer to his provoke to get the K next time. All right. Things are looking pretty solid. Get some good activation damage there. Another AoE smack. I will say the Slayer set on Michinaki has been so much better than I thought because he's getting so many turns and just giving himself like a 20% turn meter boost two out of every three turns is huge. There goes Decay. It is Head of Torment, which is good. No buffs were allowed and a, um, what do you call it? Brimstone proc is big. It's going to be close. Luckily, I don't think the Devour count can go below two turns. There we go. We got Husk back. We need to provoke from Krisk. Otherwise, we're going to start losing damage quickly. But I do think we're officially in the clear, you know, knock on wood, um, of making the turn count limit. So now it's just how much damage can we push to that turn count limit. If we get an AoE from Husk, we could kill this head too, which would be awesome. Which is the head we need to kill. We're going to provoke. That's perfect. Don't get resisted. Beautiful. Anyone with damage, we're going to go over here. Anyone without damage, we're going to go like Siffy. We're going to go over there. Extra turn from him is big. I wish he would have hit Head of Mischief there. That's okay, though. We are going to try and provoke. Nice. We'll buff or boost. I think he's going to get an extra turn. This might free him. Let's go. All right. Let's get some more hits in. 17 to, look, to go. Krisk is down. Luckily, Krisk is not our provoker right now because Husk came up with a super clutch provoke. Gosh, the turn count is literally so low. Shamel is at two. When he goes down, we might be done. Come on, guys. Come on. Give me a Husk AoE. Let's go. That's huge. We didn't quite free Krisk yet, but we did decapitate that head, which is less turns for them to take. I think we'll free him here. That's beautiful. If Shamel gets eaten by this head, we're just done. But there's also only nine turns left, so does it matter that much? We're being very nitpicky here. I think if we're lucky, we can get to 260, but I think realistically, we'll probably be just under 260 million, which you guys probably saw on the thumbnail. An extra turn there stinks for the for the uh, Hydra head there. We're actually down to a one turn provoke here. An extra turn from Husk? Nope. All right, we're about to end the run. A few more turns, one more turn, I think. And I think that's it. We will see. Yep, that's it. I've never actually been cut off. That's the first time I've ever reached a turn count limit. 259 million. Oh, look at that. Mishinaki's so close. 93.5 million. Supreme Gala 56. Look at Husk, guys. 67 million. This is a non-void epic champion. Granted, he's got a five-star blessing, which helps a lot. He's in nine-piece merciless set, which is like the best way you could build any champion. But like Shamel's built well with a five-star blessing, and he's doing 23 million. Like Husk is unbelievable. Chameo obviously is doing a ton for the team, so is Siffy. And even Chris, you're not going to see as much damage numbers for them. I honestly expected more than 16 million or 15.9 million for Chris. He's got two AoEs. I don't use a Provoke a ton. I'm using the AoEs most turns. Three-star Cruelty, War Master, and he's still only doing like 16 million. That's kind of crazy. Um, definitely just wanted with Chameo's damage, but besides that, you can't get mad at this run. What What is sad about this is my clan, uh, I'm in a newer clan as of like a month ago, we tank every like other week or so to get better Hydra Clash matches. So I have just spent an hour and 33 minutes of my life and I have to click free regroup and then I have to submit one that's just like 40 million, like barely over the one key so we can tank and get an easier matchup next time, which I understand... But it is frustrating when you spend an hour and a half of your life, plus more, editing the video, and you can't even submit the damage. But I am proud to say this is my newest Hydra record. Really, really sad to say that Carol on the Ringer is probably out of my Nightmare Hydra team, and Michinaki is pretty much permanently in until I get like a Acrisia. Um or Grizzur. But either way, really, really spectacular damage, 93 million. Anyways, I know this was a long video, so I'll cut it short. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. We're about to hit 1,400 subs. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you on the next one.